So, I'll get straight into it. Now, I strongly recommend all young men uh, adopt the philosophy of MGTOW. And the reason be being, there are more women in the world than men, so there will always be women available. Um, more importantly, men's value go up with age, whereas in, with women, their value tend, to, at least their sexual market value, tend to diminish from around age 27 or so um, to like 35. Uh, as far as childbearing is and then diminishes even more rapidly after that for many other re many reasons but that is not the what I'm looking to talk about in this video again I strongly recommend young men in particular below the age of 25 to uh, adopt the MGTOW way it's not going to be it's not an easy thing to do um, Again, young men hasn't gone, didn't go through some of the traumas that come from um, relationships that went wrong, um, especially as it isn't nowadays, which in modern times tend to go wrong quite a bit. Um, and why I, I recommend the philosophy of Miktao? I'll talk about four today, maybe five education um, what this is what you should be doing while in MGTOW adopting the, um, embracing the MGTOW philosophy the first thing is educate yourself you're young you finish high school learn, your, learn a trade um, get a, a college degree um, from age 18 maybe 19 to age 24 that should be your focus get the, the college the college degree or um, you know, it'll be a little long, longer, maybe uh, longer if you're getting your master's degree or even your doctorate. It all depends on what you're looking to do as far as on the academic side of things. For those of you who are looking to do trade, however, uh, trade shouldn't shouldn't take too long as far as getting uh, educated, and then after the education, up to age 26, 27 years old, um, should be job experience. So where you could eventually, like from like 27 to 30, you should be either working as a career for a reputable company um, or starting your own business with your trade um, where you can create your own schedule and uh, have control, total control of uh, the outcomes of your business. It comes with some risk, obviously, but and not everybody is suited for that. However, those of you who are, I strongly recommend you get your education or your trade, get some job experience, and start your own business. Um, by starting your, your own business also gives you an ability, have uh, flexibility of time and money. Because the goal is for you to create lifestyle. And while you're young, you have the energy and the enthusiasm to really go out there and, and grind and do the work. Because uh, as you get older, um, you know, the energy level goes, goes down in some people. Um, maybe in most, I, I can't I speak for myself, my energy level did go down. I was more energetic and go-getter in my 20s than I am now in my 40s. So, you know, job experience, that's the second thing. Get some job experience, either if you're in a trade, get some job experience working under somebody as an apprentice and build, your, build yourself up that way. Um, of course, if you're in, in education, academics, going to college, getting a degree, it's a little bit different dynamic. You still have to get some job experience and probably set yourself up in that particular career uh, where you can be earning uh, a, a good salary that, that grows as you as time passes because you don't really um, meet your financial stride until you're in your mid like 
like early to mid 40s and you know so and that's about where you're you're also peaking as far as you know value um, but of course money if you bring in a certain level of income every year that also adds to your value um, as a man but um, I'm not talking about staying MGTOW until you're 45 I you know from 18 from graduating high school till about 26 27 you should be totally focused uh, on your yourself uh, building yourself up as a career uh, with your for your career where you have your education your job experience your career should already be in place so by the time you're 35 uh, between 30 and 35 you want to be able to have your own buy your own house um, also between 30 and 35 your money should be going towards paying off the mortgage uh, just pay double triple whatever it is and pay off the mortgage as quickly as possible so now you have um, equ equity in your home without the burden of a wife or a woman a bunch of kids um, and, you, and you're now at your right around your peak uh, physical um, abilities as a man um, and you're you're getting closer to being um, financially um, established for yourself um, by paying off your mortgage early you reduce well you you will basically develop really good credit uh, from that um, buying a house would take a home buyers course first time home buyers course if you live in the state of Maryland if you own your property before you get married um, your wife has no no rights to, to the house during a divorce because you owned it prior to to um, to getting married um, you want to do, by buying a house you develop good credit other ways to develop good credit and cre credit maturity takes about seven to eight years to get credit maturity um, so from the may, maybe your mid 20s you know get, you get a get a couple credit cards never spend more than a third of your credit um, I, I, that you may have so if you have a nine hundred dollar credit to limit never spend more than three hundred dollars um, and if you do pay it off right away never buy anything with cash or a debit card it, Say keep your money in your bank account Use the credit card a week later pay off that credit debt with the cash you had that you would have used To keep your balance below a third um, And your credit score should would pretty much jump to over 800 like that um, Again credit maturity takes about eight uh, seven years seven to eight years so in your youth while you focus on your education your job experience your buying your house you know developing good credit um, all these things fall under a management system that I like to call um, stability financial stability um, I mentioned in a previous video uh, I have three things in place your your own place your own job and be financially stable um, so by creating good credit for yourself um, buying a house outright or if you can do that or paying off your mortgage your 30 year mortgage in five to ten years um, you have your own place um, you dictate what goes on in your place you are the alpha um, if for some reason you seem to fall in into uh, being um, kind of easily swayed by the time you 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 finish high school and the time you work pretty hard and develop have your house have your credit have your job experience you should be met stable enough within yourself to understand who you are as a man and by understanding who you are as a man you will know your worth so if you have bad credit no home you're still renting um, you're living from paycheck to paycheck you didn't really do a, a job 
a good um, get job experience you know and you know yourself you understand what you're worth based on that so you won't overshoot uh, for something unattainable and if you do attain it at attain the unattainable it's short-lived because that's not your worth your value doesn't measure up to that whatever woman it comes along that has as has a higher market value and I'm not talking about financial value I'm just talking about overall value um, you by taking these steps educating yourself job experience and buying your own home maintaining good credit it gives you a sense of um, know-how where you you won't be a simp you know because you work you understand what it is to work pretty hard for this you it'll be easier for you to stand your, your ground because you are in control as you should be you're a provider and a protector all right and in certain instances you do have to give way to to a woman in certain things um, you know basically choosing your battles but she will understand and you will understand that you are in control um, by developing these things you're less likely to um, give up your manhood to cater to whatever you think women want because it wouldn't matter what they want this is what you have to offer and you're offering quite a bit with just those few things you don't have to have a hundred thousand dollar a year job um, I don't have a hundred thousand dollar a year job but I'm I have my master's degree I have good job experience with the work that I do in therapeutic foster care um, I own my own house I have great credit it's about uh, 793 or something like that right now um, and it's only like that because I have a student loan I use my student loan rebate checks to buy my house you know uh, my first house and you know I use that's how I was able to, to develop that and because I work for a nonprofit full-time as well I am able to get loan forgiveness after well 10 years and these are things you develop from educating yourself getting job experience uh, getting your house uh, having good credit um, you're not easily you know I know when you're young you tend to want to um, cater to women thinking that's what they want uh, give you know putting yourself on the back burner uh, doing things that you typically wouldn't do um, that's what simps do that's what beta do beta males do and any man can um, can sh again this beta thing is any man can shift from beta to alpha or from beta to sigma you know because we all have that balance we have we, we carry all three within our personalities so um, but some people lean more to the beta one of the men want to you know want to please your wife bending over backwards uh, doing unnecessary things and sometimes you just have to say no and in order to learn to say no you got to educate yourself, work on yourself, get your career going, get your job experience, get your house, you know, get your credit uh, in, in place. So when you do marry, uh, you meet a girl, you know, she understands your standards and you won't budge from them. And this is just more stuff on the financial side and a mindset uh, thing. Uh, side but there are other uh, aspects you got to look at when considering um, the MGTOW way as a young man growing up uh, you got to understand the, spir uh, the spiritual side of who you, who you are um, the emotional side emotional stability is one of the biggest um, the toughest ones to overcome and you as a young man uh, looking to embrace MGTA, you have to be emotionally stable. Uh, you cannot be looking for women um, 
looking going out of your way to please women you will never please women there's a say, statement that you can't please all the people all the time it applies to women as well um, when you're young if you're fortunate enough to meet a young woman in your age and you all work together and grow together um, these principles still apply within the midtown way you must educate yourself you must get job experience you must buy your own your own house must have your good credit um, once you have those things in place especially if you live in Maryland where I live um, I don't know for your states I always I strongly recommend that once you develop that you you know you get you especially buying your own house then you get married um, I'm talking about pay off for your house completely outright then you get married that's why I stress trying to pay your whole house out off in five to seven years if you buy a house in your mid to late 20s it should be paid off by the time you're 35 and it's difficult you have to sacrifice a lot for it um, but I, it's really worth it especially if if you're in a state where you don't have to worry about losing your house um, to in case of a divorce um, a prenuptial agreement these are things that you need to have in place um, long before you you know decide to get married you know you ask your what your girlfriend you, you think everything's going to go well you ask your girlfriend to marry you she say yes so you now have a fiance um, you let her know this is what this is what is required a prenup agreement because you have your education, you have your job experience, you got maybe a business, you know, you got your house, you got good credit, you know, these are things you gotta navigate. Um, in a situation like that, depending on where you live, I recommend you see, get a hold of a lawyer, uh, because marriage is, it's fun, I guess, that's a celebration, a happy time, but a divorce, it's like a, you know you're setting yourself up the prenup you're setting your setting up insurance policy to protect yourself and it should be mandatory and if for some reason this the woman you with fights you about it she's not a person to marry this is where you're able to stand your ground in using the MGTOW way and either walk away from her all right and wait or, or find someone else or you you have you would have the ability to walk away from her and give her enough time to think about what she's you know what she's losing out on uh, most of the times they uh, she will come more women will come around uh, when it comes to that stuff and if they don't you are you've already gone your own way you've lived it for the past 10 years from high school all the way up to that current moment so it shouldn't be a stressful situation for you to to go MGTOW or to ex ex exercise MGTOW because you you already have the mindset you're practicing it you focus on self again uh, you, you're developing yourself as a, a man that provides and can provide and protect and but you got to be able to stand your own ground and shift between the, the Sigma beta and alpha um, personalities that you have if you have any questions ask it in the comment section down below um, I hope this video helps some of you especially you young men that's frustrated you, you may be socially awkward um, and you're not you're not drawing the attention of a lot of women uh, there will always be women um, if, if you can't find women here uh, if you see in America look overseas um, there are a lot of, a lot of third world countries where women uh, don't have the mindset of modern American women or Western women and frankly m marrying you would be a major upgrade to what they would have access to wherever they are um, and a lot of times these women are significantly more beautiful than any than the women you'll find in the US requiring significantly less from you and because they grew up 
with the mindset of being wives, taught to be wives, they already come prepared to serve as a wife. And, you know, that's an option. The internet that men created has opened up the, us, opened up the world, make the world smaller so we can interact um, a lot easier. So, you know, and I'm 45 now, 20 years from now, you would be, um, have more access. So like, subscribe, have a good day.